that drink now, Anthony. What a drag. Fourteen thousand pounds. That's more than I earn in five years. Uh, you can afford it? Yes, I think so. Well, I don't know about you people, but um, I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. My dad's away, Anthony. Yes. Good night. Good night. Stefan? Stefan. Stefan. My little uh, plan. Did you think about investing in it? A little operation? It's a marvellous chance to get even with JC, you know. Ah, the surplus bilge pump sluice valves. I told you about it. Buying them back from the store inventory and selling them to father's tank people as reconditioned units. Stefan. I'm sorry, old man, I wasn't listening. The surplus bilge pump sluice valves. Oh, no, please, to... Anthony, please. This is so complex. It's more complex even than your last scheme. No, even no, than no, your this, last... this is going to work. I promise you, we're going to make some money. You calm the old bastard into the power. No, Anthony, really. It's conceptually narrow. If you're going to attack the old man, attack him where he's vulnerable. His pride. And attack him with audacity and arrogance. Make some money. Anthony, I want to show you something. Do you know what that is? Um, I'm afraid not, Father. It's a bilge pump to spell. So that's what the little devil looks like, eh? I have no idea. You're a moron, aren't you? You didn't even know what you were stealing, what you were planning to resell to my tanker people, did you? Oh, um, no, I swear, Father, I, I, I didn't actually do anything. Of course you didn't. That's what's so depressing. Look at these fake invoices of yours. They're so badly done that I could, I could weep. Such pathetic preparations for a petty embezzlement that flew apart of the seams before it even started. But, Antony, the most distressing aspect of this whole adventure of yours was the fact that you would have cleared, at the most, six percent. No, it was seven and a quarter percent. I can prove it. Oh, come on, Anthony. I, I was just trying to work a... Yes? A little operation, you know. Albert. Ah, Castelli. Now, keep calm, please. Yes, the situation is um, a trifle uh, critical, shall we say, but uh, Castelli, listen to me. I'm meeting the deadline. I'm paying in cash. Correct, cash. From my sterling reserve uh, held by my Tangier branch. Hmm. And I'm shipping the money to Zurich by ship. Yes, via Marseille, of course. It's a somewhat old-fashioned method, but quite legal and slow. That's the virtue of it. It'll give us our two days' grace. Our two dear mamas. <laughs> if you don't hurry, you'll be late for the office. Yes, sir. And you better toddle off, too, and play. Nothing so much depresses me as a nothing. Bonnevie! Ah, monsieur Cavier. Now, listen carefully. I've just spoken to Castelli. We're transferring our entire British currency reserve from Tangier to Zurich. The funds will be travelling on the Osiris on the 10th of August. Got that? Excuse me, uh, Monsieur Carvel. Did you say the entire British currency reserve? Yes, one million pounds. Give or take a few bob. Um, secrecy is the best security, so forget this conversation. All right? Oui, monsieur. Goodbye, Bonifer. Goodbye, monsieur Calvert. <laughs>
You're out of your skull. It's pure genius. You're insane. You're nuts. Come on, Segaline. Where's your sense of humor? Stefan, you're not going to start another neurotic feud with Calvert. Don't you think it's amusing to fleece your own father for a million pounds? I'm going to the hairdresser. You ought to go to a nut house. What do you think? Impressed? Working for 30 quid a week in this bloody office, I'm easily impressed. But I can't do it. I don't have a holiday. You tell the old bastard to give you a holiday or you'll quit. My soul uh, is sinking in a swamp. Ah, yes. It's sinking in a swamp of... Ah, uh, don't tell me. Um, materialism. It is you who is turning me into a moron. I want my freedom. You who are turning me into a moron. Oh, Otherwise, that's not. splendid, Anthony. Now, first of all, Anthony, you've got to get all that junk for us. We need the combination to the ship safe and so forth. Yes, he is. It's for you, son. Your office. Hello. Yes. Hello, father. Yes, what? Well, well, um... He's given me back my holiday. Good. Still got a couple of weighty problems. Here comes one of them now. Hello. Hello, Lovebird. Where have you been? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Hey, groovy, fantastic. Marvellous. How far have you got? As far as the hard part. I thought you were unamused by it. Oh, I had a profound insight under the dryer. Decided to be a gas. So? Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Well, it's the transport problem. Getaway plan. We need some help. As long as I'm need inside, I'm satisfied. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong. I've got no notion to come on strong. My big ambition's just to get along. I figure if I ain't died, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. If you got mountains you wanna move That kind of action just ain't my groove There's nothing special that I'm trying to prove If it's no skin off my hide I'm satisfied So let's hang loose and lay it on the line Just do your Thing, baby, and I'll do mine. And any trip we take will suit me just fine. As long as I can dig the ride, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied.
this uh, psychopathic convulsion you had just now. Uh, fascinates me. And speaking professionally as a clinical psychopathologist, tell me, was it or was it not traumatic? What? Ah, uh-huh. Yes, of course. See, what it was, was a... Uh, was a... Uh, classic sexual <sighs> compensation syndrome. You were trying, through violence, to prove your... virility. Dropped a little run in the ocean, right, baby? I'm not worried about my virility, mate. Oh, oh, violence, violence. Yes, I'm afraid we all have a streak of it. I used to have a streak of it. A very, very wide streak of it. Oh, I'm afraid somebody got scared. You got scared? Yeah, and I developed some other interest, man. But I suppose if one's decided to go irredeemably to pot, Tangier's the best place to do it. With tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Lucy's in the sky with diamonds. I thought we might all pop down there later. What do you think? What, Tangier? Yeah. Beautiful. Stay at my place. What, all of us? By all means. First, we'll make this, uh, uh, intensive little fishing scene, and then, <laughs> by all means. I bought it last week. This cove used to be a pirate hangout once before they built the lighthouse. Man, it's a pretty big lighthouse. It's deserted, stupid. Did you ever think of trying it in your more active days? What? Piracy. <laughs> no, man, it's not in my bag. No, it's uh, a lot more robust and I'd say it's a little bit dated. Most people would say it was obsolete, except Anthony. I just said a possibility, old man. You see, old JC, for some devious reason or other, is planning to ship a vast stack of cash across this placid sea sometime next month. Practically unguarded, don't forget. And Anthony thinks there might be a whole ugly mob sitting around here somewhere right now planning to cop JC's loot. <laughs> hey, Duffo, come on, I'll move your legs. Now. I know that. Now, you're a good sailor, Duffo. Look. Of course, they'd have to start off by getting in a robust mood. The Osiris, she's called. She leaves Tangier at... Tangier? Ten, uh... Yes, Tangier. Yeah, and she makes an overnight stop at Iran and then takes all day and all the next night to get to Marseille. 5 a.m., middle of the graveyard watch, she'd be about here. Here, yeah, to be precise. Yeah, well, from there, it would take over two and a half hours to reach the nearest landfall. And even with the fastest boat afloat, I'd give them one chance in ten to make it. Why head for the nearest landfall? You mean head out to the open seascape and end uh, right here? Right here? Yeah, why not? Sure, maybe it out here, but maybe. Yeah. Maybe you'd double your chances from 10 to 20 percent. Only 20 percent, eh? Sure, but how would you? You? Well, why not? Why not? Man! <laughs> no one is right mind. Not even a big professional organization, man, would ever attempt anything like this. But suppose this mob were not big, nor professional. Or in their right minds. But suppose they were working from the inside. Kind of knew all the details. Like the combination to the ship's safe. Suppose they, this mob, this mob, had almost limitless funds, imagination, fantastic getaway plan. You and who else? Just us. Just you. Just us, he said. 
us. Oh, no, 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 no. You didn't tell him how much. Leverage. Yeah, not bad. They're dolls. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... Call this a sort of um, sort of rotting erotic. Myself, I feel that they're uh, they're more in the pop porno vein. Pop porno. Glad you dig a erotic environment. I think this ought to be your cup of tea. Huh? Yes. Yes, it's, it's lovely. It's the blue room. I, sh I should imagine it is. I mean... I, too, am a merchant, Mr. Eugenides. 
time is not withered your reputation, nor, it would appear, your equally legendary How's the old Tangiers branch, eh? Uh, How's the old, the old Sterling Reserve? Oh, <laughs> fine, fine, oui. May I introduce my niece? Um, oh, absolutely. Deposit on theatrical equipment, 5,000 pounds. Balance payable on delivery. And the total to be kept under the 30,000 mark. Well, of course. It's your genitals. Let's have some coffee now. Yeah, there's one thing that I've uh, finally recognized about you. You're not a psychopath. Oh, I'm not. No, somewhere inside you is a an unborn psychedelic Cecil B. DeMille. <laughs> You're a showman, baby. It's a very tempting script, man. Sort of a morality crime. Red's not bad either, is it? Yeah, well, I, uh, I guess it's a part that I just can't turn down. Good boy, Duffo. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> now, you're going to be great, my boy. You're gonna yeah, be I'm going to have to be. Sign right here. Yeah, now listen, we've got a lot of work to do. What do we have? Less than three weeks. That means we've got to rehearse. Work! Next week sometime, we'll take, we'll take a little trip on that, uh, on the Osiris, you know, sort of a, a dry run. Hey, I'm going to be the one with the gun who sticks up the old guard person. Oh, no, not if I'm around. 
No, you're not going to have any guns. Oh, no guns? Drag this movie without what? gun stuff. Wait, we've got to have guns. I don't understand. There'll be one gun. My gun. But it's not going to go pop. <laughs> unless it has to. Mr. Duffy! Mr. Duffy! Mr. Duffy! The tickets are for yourself and Mr. Eugenides. First class on the SS Osiris leaving for Marseille at 7 o'clock this evening. Beautiful. Your voyage of uh, reconnaissance, eh? Where is Mr. Eugenides? Have you seen him? Allah alone knows, Mr. Duffy. Upset about about Duffy. There's, there's no need to get upset. Not all of it was delivered. My pad filled with corpses. You gave him my address, man. My address. Not the boat trip. You had him delivered today. Two weeks early for bodies. Oh come on, man. Don't get all uptight about nothing. I think it's hilarious. It's beautiful. It's just, it's just a tiny mistake. That's all. Tiny mistake. Like I say, categorically, one gun. Bye. The next thing I know, some captain is delivering this murderous trash to my pad and corpses and machine guns falling all over my doorstep with half the cast by spectating. I live here. It's a small town. 
yourself out, baby. You've been overworking. You're all nervous. Sir, monsieur! Get away from me! I said no unauthorized personnel damage! I resign. Now, oh, look here, Duffer. You, uh, you can't resign. I can't resign the hell. I can't resign, man. You're blowing this whole scene, man. You and your idiot brother here. It's not only absurd me? anymore, it's insane. Just idiot. forget it. Forget it? Well, we forget you. Yeah, we can good. find somebody else. Somebody who's got Just some cool it. Somebody with some bloody gut. <laughs> ah! Told you, man. You all right? Perfectly, thank you. Slight setback. In a sense, I think we're. Uh... Hey. I think, uh. Like you. Probably be a little bit more comfortable in the, uh, men's dinner tonight. I see. You're in a mad rage. Because I didn't come home last night. Don't be ridiculous with it. I'd be in a mad rage. I'm, uh, like a little embarrassed, you know? Like. First night your old man's out of town, soft like some cat in heat. You look at too. What, what, what have you been into? Take a look at yourself. You wouldn't make much of an ad for chastity. Anyway, do you think Stefan minds if I sleep with someone? Think he doesn't have utter faith in my good taste? You phony old Puritan duffy. You're even worse. You're a real Puritan. Yeah. Well, frankly, what I actually think is that your sex life is probably a bore. Golly, to think that I came back here to cheer you up and let you know you're off the hook. Get lost, Woody Baby. That'll cheer me up. What do you mean, off the hook? Find someone else to take your place. An Italian. Italian. So you went out and scored yourself a little Italian, huh? Well, a river dirty bambina. Yep. Yeah, he works in oil or something. It's very well qualified. Sort of nice. Nice. Yeah, well, you're awfully nice, too. Uh, to, to peddle your little keister just to keep me off the hook. So, you're just a groovy little old unhooker, is what you are. Just drooling to have me, aren't you, Duffy? Just drooling. Drooling? I may be a hooker. I am absolutely not a slut. Okay, darling. Now you can go ahead in the conventional way. We have to take care of your libido. And the... No more horrid name calling. I want a new transistor tape recorder. See? Tell me, Duffy. I'm absolutely not a slut. Am I? No, Sigalene, you're not a slut. You're just one big drag.
in that drag. Groovy. Right. Shelley, are you there? I've got it. 41, 22, 41. Mr. Gary? I, I, I make a mistake. I make a mistake. 22, impossible. 41, 24, 41. Uh, Shelley, correction, please. Correction! 41, 24, 41. <laughs> I got sparks here. Does it work? Come on, come on. What about 
Over you go. Roll yourself up at the ball and keep your mouth closed. What about Stefan? a few of the small bills, Sego.
shall be most polite. I'll say, I'm frightfully sorry, Jay-Z, I shall say, but that stinking little office of yours gets on my wig. Moreover, a little operation of mine, which has turned out rather well, and it's grossed a clear profit of one million percent, therefore, kindly accept my resignation with resignation. Come, come, my boy, you say. How about a, a 40 bob a week rise? And I shall say to him, you can take your 40 bob and you can stick it, you old bastard! Ah! Take good care of the money till we all get back from Naples, Duffo. I hope Stefan's OK. I hope Stefan's hoping I'm OK. You don't have to worry about the deal in Naples, Duffo, because I'm going to insist on 80%. If there's one thing I know a bit about, it's bent banking. Come on, Sego, we better get moving. I'm staying here. With him. I gotta get some sun. has indeed been a rough one. I have insisted that you be troubled no further. Captain, may the Almighty be with you. Our brief acquaintance has for me been an enormously rewarding experience. Uh, Come. Possible. He must really be in trouble. He's even forgotten his eugenities. 9.40. If we're going to make that plane, we've got to split. Come on, let's go. I'm not coming. 
Huh? I'm going to stay here and wait till you all get back. I like to be alone occasionally, you see? Yeah, I guess if you're going to get some solitude, you might as well get it now before you. Your criminal genius comes and fetches you away. I don't belong to Stefan. I don't belong to anyone. Not anyone. No one. Okay. Nobody. Okay. Okay. Hey. Just here. I like being here with you. I like just about every minute of being with you. Nice. Yeah. It's just uh, we have to cool everything now, you see. Yeah. Of course, it, it has occurred to me recently that I'm getting used to you finally. And, and I probably love you in the worst possible way. And it's not very cool, I guess. Is it? Duffy, I don't go in for belonging. I dig just... being. Me? Yeah. Well, just be. Be.
Hello. Hello. So the coast is clear, in the literal sense. Your cable from Beirut took four days. Nice days. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Good. Who'd you get to send it? Some of my best friends happen to be hotel doormen. As soon as it's dark, we'll go down to my yacht and collect money. I think I can still manage a 30-foot dive. remember when we found this. Centuries ago. No, it was two years, actually. The day after I found you. It said, thank you. It feels nice. I wonder what you're going to say when I deposit a million dollars to your account in a Swiss bank. A numbered account goes without saying. Thank you. <laughs> feels nice. You want to know how I feel? I feel like a couple of weeks in Acapulco. What do you say to that? I have to see Stefan. I've got to explain some things to him. I want a lot of rubbish. Why don't you mind your own bleeding business? Are you suggesting that I'm interfering with your pleasures? I've never come between you I and... never gave you the option. You know the rules. Well, the game's over now. I... Well, whatever that's supposed to mean, you have to admit that the way we played this last hand of ours was a triumph. You cheated. I won. That's more to the point. If there was a question of cheating, it was with your enthusiastic help. If I remember correctly, Stefan conceived his fatuous project on a Monday. On the Tuesday, in the course of our Tuesday tete-a-tete, -tete, you confided it to me. I laughed until I cried. Do you remember what I said? You said, my God, why not? Let him do the dirty work and I'll cop the bread. Cop the bread? I say that. You were loaded. I was exceptionally clear-headed. I saw in a flash that it was incumbent upon me to inject a little method into Stefan's madness, to convert the whole nebulous fantasy into a reality. I cop the bread. All right. Cop the bread. Some method, like the rotten combination of that rotten safe. <laughs> Poor Bonifay is also over-eager, especially when it comes to... But Duffy, he came through all right. Ah. Duffy. Okay. So Duffy was your brainwave. Now, don't get sentimental about Duffy. He's adaptable. He'll always find something to drink, something to take to bed. What do you know of him? You never even met him never met him, but I know all about him. Very capable boy, audacious. Mm. Audacious. I tell you what, we'll send him a couple of thousand dollars from Acapulco. Excuse me, please. Uh, there is a gentleman here on the terrace, Monsieur Guerin. Monsieur Guerin? Monsieur Inspector Guerin, chief of the local police. Well, excuse me a moment. Please, uh...
Monsieur Calvert? Yes. Please excuse this interruption, but I must request you to come with me, monsieur. Voilà. Monsieur Calvert, may I present Monsieur Du... Uh, uh, de, Monsieur Dufy? A fishing enthusiast, and there is his catch. Monsieur, I request you to make again your statement to Monsieur Calvert. When, where, why? Oui, oui. Yeah, well, uh, I was fishing up the coast here. Beautiful little spot, a little cold. I was down about 30 feet, I guess, and I was uh, chasing this old groper fish, and uh, she fades into this underwater hole, or pit, you know. And uh, so I dive in after him, and I crash into these bags. Bring him up the top, and I have a little peek inside, and... Whew. And so they're here, and that's in Staten, baby, you know. <laughs> Bravo. Monsieur Calvert, you cannot speak, huh? The heart is too full of joy. <laughs> ah, très bien, très bien. Tiens, we must shake his hand, this American boy. Well done. Bravo. Fantastic. Yes, of course. I... Mr. Duffy, I insist on thanking you, both my bank and my stockholders and, uh, of course, myself. Oh, well, any time, sir. Oh, dear me. It seems J.C.'s dropped his wallet. What happened? This gentleman's also a Calvert. What happened? Stefan, I've got to explain something. No explanation. Whatever happened, it looks divinely inspired. Mr. Calvert. Hey, Mr. Duffy. There's a reward. Reward? Well, I didn't come for any reward. Reward? How much? Not much. 50,000 pounds. Oh, well, if uh, Mr. Calvert insists, why not? But of course, <clears throat> Anthony, come here a moment, will you? Uh, you richly deserve to be rewarded. Oh, you can just make a check out to J. Duffy. D-U-F-F-Y. I don't carry a checkbook. Why don't you just go and help yourself to... Inspector, this Mr. Duffy is going to help himself to some of our money. Anthony, will you take over for me, please? That's good. Hey, uh, Mr. Calvert, uh, pop you to a drink. Some other time, perhaps. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Keep the faith, baby. Scored a bit. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're glad, sugar. I didn't score. Didn't even give me a new tape recorder.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.